It is crises upon crises. That's exactly right. Uh, Madam Speaker, yield the next two minutes to the gentleman from Florida we affectionately refer to as the Chief, Mr. Jimenez. <laughs> Thank you, Madam, Madam Speaker. Uh, you know, life has been hard uh, for American people as President Biden concludes his first year in office. Unfortunately, too many in this chamber have bowed down to the most radical fringes of the Democrat Party. Sad reality today is liberals in Congress have uh, no clue what everyday hardworking Americans are going through. They care more about pushing their radical agenda than helping working families. The result? More inflation, higher gas prices, unconstitutional vaccine mandates, broken supply chains, and Americans struggling to make ends meet. On our side of the aisle, Republicans are committed to making sure we get the American people back to work, ensuring that small businesses can find employees to help keep their businesses open, making sure Americans have uninterrupted access to goods, and getting our country roaring back with a strong economy and safe communities. Those are the issues that Americans really care about. Here in Washington, Republicans will use our congressional authority to hold the Biden administration accountable for the Afghanistan de debacle, where we don't know how many Americans are still left behind in, in Afghanistan, for choosing to wreck our energy sector, uh, where at once we were energy independent a year ago, now we're begging OPEC to please produce more, while handing Putin the Nord Stream 2 pipeline for allowing the southern borders to be kept wide open and much, much more. After only a year of the Biden administration and his radical governing our country, we've had enough. The American people have had enough. And our people, our country, deserve better. Thank you, and I yield back.